Welcome to Wesley's channel, and this is Wesley's News. And this is part number nine, I believe the most explanatory part of vast most series of videos about his free energy device. Vasmos, quite a good few months ago, presented to us a device that makes electricity for free, not being powered by any power supply at all. Similar way to that what Taryorka Panadze from Tbilisi, Georgia, Europe did. He was able to achieve production of electricity using only one wire that is connected to the ground. Wow. And other two wires were connected to the set of the light bulbs. In different configuration, he was able to produce over one kilowatt of power, which is one third of the electricity that you need to your apartment and one fifth of the electricity that you need for average American house per kilowatt hours. I strongly encourage you to go to the set of videos that I have presented before and look at them at once. So let's go to the translation. Hello, Sergei. I was able to make it happen. This the transformer. I was able to disconnect it from the device. I have made a summator. I'm trying to show you accurately. You will understand what I'm talking about. There are two wires. With transformer is working as well. And with summator too. So we should look at the summator as a transformer with a special winding. You see one wind that is longitudinally to the core of the transformer left hand side corner, right, this one. And then we see the winds, they are at 90 degrees, which remind me of the experiment, the yoga experiment that I was participating with. You can find it on my channel as well. The summator is connected with two wires to the radiator beneath the coil, high voltage coil, and that must have a transistor that is working in push-pull generating regime. On that transformer sonator, you want to section of the winding. And the power level has been increased from the last time. And I start the device only from the battery. I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay. So the system starts to generate. As you see, the frequency of generation is very low. You can increase with the potentiometer. The light bulb that is on the top of it is only fluorescent light bulb to show the high voltage field. So we should concentrate on the light bulbs that are lying on the floor. There's only one wire connected to the ground. So he says he's working without the transformer and he connected more of the capacitor. So you would be able by that to achieve resonance much better. He doesn't give much of valuable information. That's the stop button. He says, I'm going to show you all of the currents. Just wait for a moment. So he's starting the device. And he's using the clamp amp meter. So he, ha he shows 90 amps, 108 amp, but the clamp meter is not on it, so we definitely see that clamp meter in the closed coil clamp is showing the presence of the strong magnetic field. So in other words, the clamp meter is not showing you 
the real measurement is showing you the induction of the magnetic field in the clamp. All right, just wait for a moment. So he's starting the device. The clamp meter is placed on the ground wire. He increased a little bit power using potentiometer on the device. Now it is showing 2.21 of an amp, so 2 amp 0.21. But the current on the wire connected to the light bulb is 0.44 of an amp. And that's the connection to the ground wire, to the ground. So now he's showing again the stop button. But he stopped the device by pushing on the button. So again, he's talking about the summator. He says, you're going to make a winding on the summator. And you need to experiment how many wines you done. And this is modulator. When he was lifting up the capacitor, he was talking about modulator. I've got that video a little bit to bring your attention to the point at which he's uh, showing the ground wire in various places or the meter clamp on the ground wire. And he's um, increasing the current on the ground wire, which actually is the increasing the flow of the square wave impulses over the um, sine wave carrier. The square wave impulses are high frequency impulses over the low frequency sine wave. So let's go back to translation. Give me one two days after I put it on the YouTube and then I'm going to delete that video. When you do the experiment and it's going to start to work at your place. He's decreasing the, the, the power right now. So he's decreasing the power by changing the frequency to the lower oscillation. And he's again showing the interference. The clamp meter has a clamp, and that clamp is nothing more or less but a closed circuit coil. And there is eddy current that is flowing in that coil. Okay, now he showed that when he disconnect the ground wire, the device stopped to work. So let's take a look at it one more time. The clip connected to the wire that is coming from the device is disconnected from the ground wire and the device stopped working. Okay, he starts the device again and he also connected two wires together to show that it doesn't make any difference. The same like SR 193 did and the same as Tariq Kapanada did and Akua did. Okay, now he's saying that he had to buy the new TV because his TV got damaged, I assume, due to the experiments with a high voltage when we have a very high electrostatic field. So now he's advising Sergey to make 10 kilowatt device. He's mentioning presence of catcher. That catcher is doing its job properly. Cutter is pretty much known term. I'm not going to in this video go to the detail of it, but actually it means pusher. More accurate, that would be understood by the group of people from overunity.com and energetic forum and plenty of others. Спасибо большое русским друзьям тоже. All of these people are participating in free energy revolution, and this is not a joke. I was playing with science for so many years, both on the professional level of scientific entity, which I was president of, as well as principal investigator and chief of scientific group of government sponsored programs we were participating at, while being still at that time at 77th floor 
of World Trade Center 1 prior to 9-11. Stay tuned. This is Wesley's News.